Hello guys, welcome to this video where I'm just kind of showing you guys how fast black and white is compared to diamond pearl. So yeah, that's just pretty much the video. I just wanted to know which one was faster during the time of these recordings. And turns out, yeah, I was right about a certain game being faster than other game. You'll find that out at the end. This video is probably going to be like, I don't know, 12? 11 minutes probably so might as well get my feelings out about some pokemon games <laughs> while you guys watch this but yeah what do i think of the pokemon series it definitely went down hell during sword and shield not gonna lie it's not busting on the switch maybe scarlet and violet will change my opinion but sword and shield was meh didn't play arceus and let's go, let's be honest, it's just mid. <laughs> I, I can't find a good word for Pokemon. Let's go, it's just kind of mid. It's just that game you kind of have collecting dust because, you know, Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl are better games on the Switch. Same with Sword and Shield. Sorted Shield are better than Let's Go, but definitely uh, not better than Real Diamond and Shine Pearl in my heart, honestly. If you gave me a copy of Sorted Shield and were like, yo, yo, look at this awesome game, I'd be like, eh, it's not that good. It, it really is. It's just okay. It's just an okay game. Kind of how I feel about normal sun and moon just it's okay it's not the best but it's, it's kind of at that low point of pokemon you know you're like do i even like this series anymore because of this game type of feeling i have for sorted shield not because it's hard or easy or anything it's just this game is kind of mid compared to gen 5 Gen 5 was like legit hype, and also Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire were hype also. So yeah, comparing it to those two is, is impossible for me. I'll be honest, it's near impossible for me to do on the top of my head. So if you wanted me to do it, I probably could, but it would take fucking forever to upload the video. Which I'm probably gonna have to do in my review. God damn it, I set myself up for this. Damn it. Oh yeah, I still gotta continue the Sword and Shield playthrough. Uh, that, that is painful. It is painful losing to the first gym, not gonna lie. Honestly, thought the first gym was the water gym. Then I remembered grass type exists. And now I'm just disappointed in myself for not knowing the gym order, because I generally forgot. <laughs> so yeah, you're probably going to see me fail a lot in the next episode of Sword and Shield. Or maybe not, who knows, I do have decent Pokemon. I feel like I probably could at some point. <laughs> not today, because it's late for me to record. Like, not time-wise late, but more like... Everything's fucking noisy late. <laughs> that type of late. But yeah. Sword and Shield are just eh. They're, they're games. I, I can give them that. And also I can give the DLC some praise. But base game, no DLC. It's just mid. It's just bad compared to all the other Pokemon games in the main series. Other than... Let's go if that isn't main series. I don't even fucking know. Legends Arceus, full new ball game. I don't know if or when I'm gonna get that game, but if I do, you bet I'm fucking live streaming that shit. Because I wanna live stream a game like Pokemon Let's. Not Pokemon Let's Go. Pokemon Legends Arceus, because that game actually looks fun compared to Sorted Shield, Let's Go, and whatever other Pokemon games you want to name that are main series. 
it looks like an improvement. It looks kind of like Breath of the Wild. Like, you know, it's not exactly open world. Yeah, for Lissify, I get it. Can you shut your fucking mouth yet? <laughs> but it looks funner than the games on Switch. Other than... <laughs> other than Breath of the Wild, of course. Pokemon's Legend Arceus looks fun as hell, you know. You get to throw Pokeballs at Pokemon without having to go into a battle. I think that's fucking amazing, mate. We, we've never been able to do this. Other than Let's Go, which you have to do in a menu in the battle section. Which is boring. Let's Go just makes Pokemon boring. Let's admit it, nobody likes Let's Go. Let's Go was kind of a disappointment, unless you're new to the series. But yeah, Let's Go is very disappointing. Where's my Sevi Islands? I know it's a remake of Yellow, but I want my Sevi Islands. Fire Red and Leaf Green added a lot of good content. I kind of miss that. Where games would add content to remakes, yeah, I miss that. At least Shining Diamond and uh, Brilliant Pearl. I know, I messed up the names, but whatever, let's roll with it. <laughs> At least they added something. You know, they added all the previous legendaries from Gen 4 to Gen 1. So at least I can give them that. But if you talk to me about let's go adding new shit, I'ma beat your ass. I'ma legit come to your house and beat your ass with Metal Spoon. Because Let's Go was really fucking trash. Let, I don't think anybody disagrees other than for a list fight that Let's Go was garbage. It was yeeted into the garbage. I hate Let's Go more than Pokemon Sword and Shield. And I don't really like Sword and Shield, I just think they could have been better for a home console Pokemon game. It was kind of disappointing. I played Coliseum. I played the GameCube games. They were better than Sword and Shield. I'll, I'll say that. I'll say that, you know. <laughs> because that's just my opinion. I think they are better than Sword and Shield because they changed things a lot in those GameCube games. I know they're probably not main series. I haven't checked the fucking Wikipedia <laughs> to see if they're main series. But they are better than Pokemon Sword and Shield. They have more of a story than Sword and Shield. I'm, I'm going to spoil Sword and Shield right here. Basically, what I don't like about Sword and Shield is entirely the post-game. Like, a majority of my problems peak up in the fucking post-game. <laughs> Cause my god, the fucking sexual duo come in and just ruin the plot. I mean, the sexual duo are fucking cringe. Rose, fucking cringe. Leon doing basically nothing, cringe. The gym leader's not offering to help you fight Dynamax Pokemon in their gym, cringe. Like, legit, the ending to that game was fucking cringe. I do not like it. But I'm gonna have to relive it, oh no. Poor me, please, please subscribe. <laughs> I, I do not like Sword of Shield, but at least it's not Let's Go. Let's Go is just literally basically a demake. It's legit just porting, <laughs> porting a Pokemon game to the Tiger Electronic. That's how I feel about fucking Let's Go. Let's Go is just really disappointing. I know, they hit the main plots of Pokemon Yellow, or whatever. But at least Pokemon Yellow was fun. You know what isn't fun? Not being able to battle wild Pokemon. Yeah, I, I don't... I want to fight the fucking Baldasaurus in the wild, but I can't because this game... You only capture Pokemon and let go. It's kind of cringe. Fuck. <laughs> My opinions on Gen 4 and Gen 5, they are fucking amazing and you should play them. 
Doesn't matter if it's a remake of Gen 4. Doesn't matter which games of Gen 5. It, they're amazing games. And by now, I think uh, Black and White got the Pokeballs first at this moment. So we're just waiting on Pokemon Brilliant. Not Brilliant Diamond. Po regular Pokemon Diamond and Pearl. <laughs> but yeah, that's kind of my opinion. The lowest bar you could go for a main series Pokemon game is Pokemon Let's Go. It could have just been a Tiger Electronic toy from the fucking 90s. And I couldn't tell the difference. That's how bad I think Let's Go fucked up. But yeah, I think in like a few seconds I'm going to get the Pokeball here. But uh, yeah. If you wanted to know which one was quicker to get Pokeballs, it was Pokeball White. So yeah. Those are kind of some of my Pokemon opinions. I don't know if I'll do this again, but who knows, I might.